Goliath is roaring. Goliath is insulting. Goliath is saying, I got the judges. I bought them off. They're bought and paid for. I have the politicians. I've got the police. I've got the corrupted globalists. And David is looking in his, into his eyes and says, uh, this day I'm going to chop your head off. And not just your head, but all your friends as well. I'm coming after your buddies, uh, after your friends. Who do you think you are? You're uncircumcised Philistine that you should defy the armies of the living God. You come to me with all your banking system, with all your fake fiat currency, with all your guns and your handcuffs and so-called judges. You come against the living God with all of that stuff and God laughs. It reminds me of a scene from a movie. The prince is looking at the vast army that came to destroy the city He's looking at them, says, wow, you came here to intimidate and to steal, to rob, to pillage. I'm paraphrasing. Well, I'm looking at your army and I'm not trembling. This is how the church is supposed to be. You look at the army of the enemy and you're strong. Your faith is unmovable, unshakable. Why? Because there is more of us than of them. Sometimes we just don't see who is behind us. So we must be reminded that there's more on our side than on the side of the enemy. I wish that the pastors and the clergymen and the churchgoers would be like David. You really think that God is shaken? That suddenly the pandemic shook him out of his throne? He was behind it. He is behind it. God is separating the real from the fake, the goats from the sheep, the sheep from the wolves.